today on Girl Chat. Peaceful protests sweep the NFL. And Kylie Jenner's rumored pregnancy breaks the internet. And our man crushes are sure to make you sweat. Tell needs a cold shower over here. <laughs> then we've got Survivor's Remorse star, Ron Rico Lee. The Real is Live. some live girl chat. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> Today you can make your voice heard during girl chat by heading over to the real daytime's Instagram page. Use the hashtag girl chat live to join in on the conversation. Okay, first up, one. let's watching. get right to this. Yes. Um, September 1st, 2016, NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick sparked, you know, a, a controversy after he made the decision to kneel instead of standing during the national mm -hmm. anthem. Now, Colin at the time explained that the move was a protest over how the country treats black people and people of color, saying, quote, there are bodies in the streets and people getting paid leave and getting away with murder. Since that day, many NFL players have joined Colin in taking a knee in the silent protest. Um, yeah. First of all, we wasn't watching the games anyway because y'all hadn't hired Colin. That's, there was already a protest. I just want to say that, but I'm gonna let you ladies, you know, have at it, because I got some stuff to say. I just can't believe, <laughs> I can't believe Trump is so bold to completely disregard one of the biggest threads of our country, which is the games, NFL, Super sports, ball. unity, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, it rubbed me the wrong way until I read this verse in the Bible and it checked me and got my senses together, which is, whoever says he's in the light, but hates his brothers, is still in the dark. Mm -hmm. mm. And that right there, and I got it. it. It made sense to me. I was like, you can't hate on other people. As a leader, you have gotta still try to find a message to unite us and bring us together. But the good is, it's made America yes. a more woke to what we need to care about, and that I learned, for me, that patriotism isn't about how you treat the flag, it's how you treat each other. Mm. Yes, you know? That oh, actually Jane. sounds like someone right here. I just read this, tell me. Yo Dot Freckle says that she sees nothing, I see nothing wrong with it, meaning the kneel. Yeah. Standing and saluting a flag doesn't equal patriotism. Acknowledging problems in America and trying to make a change does. Everyone complaining about the players taking a knee haven't even served this country, something we all have a chance to do at 18. There are too many social injustices, uh, social injustices going on in this country that need to change. Personally, I'm boycotting the NFL and have not watched the game this season. So, Tam Tam. Well, I I actually agree with all of you, especially what you said, Jeannie, because what I took from it is, first of all, Trump's comments are very divisive, mm. and that's not what the United States of America is about. It's about being united. Yes. And the beauty of what I saw yesterday was that whether you were standing, whether you were sitting, whether you stayed into the locker room, the players did it as a unit. Yes. yes. So as if a you voice. Saw, yes, as a voice. So if you saw a player deciding to stand up, he was linking his arms with the athlete, his friend next to him, saying, "Okay, although I won't be, oh, although yes. I won't be kneeling, but I support your decision to kneel." And that is what America should be about. It, it was a visual of seeing, okay, if you don't uh, uh, agree, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna be united anyways. Yeah, yeah, I well, love that. I mean, this is my thing. They didn't start coming out 
for the anthem until 2009, when the government paid the NFL to have the players come out to the anthem. See, mm-hmm. you got to understand the history and the facts. First of all, Preach. we're getting things diluted. Colin Kaepernick kneeled because of police brutality. Yes. Yesterday, what y'all saw... Hold on, because you might not clap once I say yes. this. What they was kneeling for was because the president called them a name. That's something totally different, okay? So okay. let's remember that. Let's, they, 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 they weren't kneeling for police brutality. They were kneeling because they got called a name by yeah. the president. All of this is the Their fault of the NFL. Their mothers got called a name. Their yes. mothers got called but a how name. Do, how do we know? I, I feel like if everybody made some type of a stance, whether it was a kneel or stay in the locker room, I think it's also because police brutality has not ended. Right, it's but also but combined this is the, the thing. mess altogether. When we, when we were telling people, pay attention, see... What happened was last Sunday, not this Sunday, but last Sunday, only six players in the NFL took a knee. Okay, Uh so it was about to be out. Then President Trump opened up his mouth, and then everybody got emotional again, and that's what forced the players to take a stance on something. My thing is, is that they weren't even paying attention to the anthem until 2009 when the NFL was paid by the government to actually come out, and, and it's called paid patriotism for them oh. to do that. So it's but, like all this, the people saying that people being disrespected and all this other kind of stuff, that's not true. And let me tell you something. I'm a Girl well. Scout. I know about the flag code, okay? I'm a, I'm a Girl Scout. Read flag code because what's yes, disrespected I saw that on, on the your flag? Instagram. Yes, go you to my Lonnie's Instagram. Instagram Comment, check that Lonnie out. Love, you will find out what the flag code, the flag code says when you disrespect the flag, you're supposed to let the flag fly high. There you're not so supposed many. to put it out flat like that. What you see at the games, that's, yep. the, that's disrespect of the flag. You're not supposed to wear the flag. You're not supposed to put the flag in advertisements. Yeah. You're not supposed to do... Now, it does say in the flag code that you should stand if you're a civilian. If you're military, you salute. It said you should. That's the key word. Tell, help me out, Tam. You don't have what to. What is should? Damn, I want to get Lonnie a bunch of men. This is a and lot. It, it doesn't say you it have to. to. Should means you make a choice. You make a choice. If you want, if and, you want to. And it's encouraged that you should do that. And I just want to say this because we're losing this whole... Everybody keeps thinking the players are disrespecting it. I don't think they're doing that. No. No. This man, Colin Kaepernick, he doesn't have a job today. He could have He could have not... He could have said, you know what, I don't care about the police brutality. I'm making millions of dollars. I'm just going to play my game. What he said yeah. is that, you know what, I know... He, he, you could go see it online. He said, I know they're not going to hire me again. I know that I'm making a sacrifice. And he didn't even call out his other NFL brothers. He went on ahead and he said, I'm just going to make this sacrifice because I'm trying to make a point at this. I believe in God. I believe God has a way to work through people. Amen. And I think he did work through Donald Trump because Donald Trump opened up his mouth. Now he's bringing it back and yeah. we have to discuss. This totally went reverse. I think oh. this was not what he expected. I thought he thought he would instill fear into these players to say, trust me, you don't want to lose your job. Trust me, you don't want to lose those millions. Right. And instead, it had the opposite effect where it made them unite and come together, like Tam said, and stand up for themselves and stand up ultimately for their rights. And let's show the picture of of the people kneeling, okay? You had a World War II veteran 96, 97 years old that, yes, bless his heart. Um, Brennan Gilmore, he says, my my grandfather is 97-year-old World War II vet and a a, a Missouri farmer. God bless the farmers farmers, because they grow our food, okay? I love this because (laughs) I actually just got off the phone with my dad. Hi, Papa Joe. Um, I just got off the phone with him. My dad is a Marine, a veteran of the Vietnam War, and he is, he actually has a purple heart. proud And he's such a, when he's so proud of, you know, how he fought for this country. And I asked my dad, I said, look, I don't want to get up there and talk about this today and say something that's going to disrespect you or the military. Mm -hmm. That's never something I want to do. You know, there's people out there fighting like this person, Yo Freckles said. We all have the choice. Don't forget saluting. You have the right to fight for your country and get out there and serve. That's right. So kneeling is the smallest thing in my opinion, but I wanted to ask his opinion. I said, you know, Papa, I don't want to get up there and say something that disrespects you after everything you've done for this country. And he said, you know what, baby? He said, I, um, oh, and he said, I fought for people to have freedom of speech. Mm. And I love my dad because he said freedom of speech in Spanish, in Chinese, in Arabic. Let it know. And 
That's what these people are fighting for. You're not disrespecting the flag. You're actually saying what this flag stands for. It stands for you to have the right to say what you feel, to have the freedom of speech, and more importantly, that they're doing it in a peaceful way. Right. What do you think can be done, though? What, what is it's the solution? Peaceful. Because I think it's nice for us to sit here and talk, that but is what true. are the solutions? Like what's, what's next? Yeah, well, I what... think the biggest thing is, is now more than ever, I think, Adrian, you said it, was that people are now aware. Yes. Whereas before, it was only, you know, one or two people yeah. kneeling. Now, for the first time, more than ever, you have coaches. You yes. have more players. They, there even was um, an in MLB player, yeah. the yep. first uh, player. I, I, don't, I can't remember his name Baseball who actually... Player. Michael. Yes. Uh, we have a picture of yes. him. There yes. he is. Baseball there he player. is, right there. So, wow. The nation they is even had Stevie Bruce Wonder Maxwell. kneeling. Now, yes. you know, Stevie. <laughs> so, I think... Stevie was kneeling. And not just I kneeling think with social, on one knee. With, when we're player. talking about social in, injustice, yes. I think the first thing we have to do, we have to start somewhere. You so we have to, have to start with awareness. There's and I something think, wrong. Yes, yes I think there now people are aware. Yes. Okay, we have to do something about this. It's Absolutely. making everybody responsible as a person who has parents who didn't come from this country but come running here for freedom and for a better life. It makes people responsible because you know that it is an honor to live in America. Yes. So many different countries, you guys. In Saudi Arabia, women can't drive. Right. Women don't have driver's licenses. Let them know. You know, so I'm just saying, like, it's an honor, and you don't just go home, open up your, your door, fall in bed, and just watch TV. You now know, I have a right to have a house. I have a right to get credit. I have a right to give my kids schooling. This know. is a right, so now we have a responsibility to do what makes sense in a Speak peaceful up. manner, to unite our country and have a voice. Have and a voice. I would rather see... Let me tell you something. Y'all gonna make me get out my knee pads, all right? It, 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 I'm gonna need a couple people to I help mean, me up. You now. brought out the Girl Scout <laughs> patches already. Yeah, she was like, you gonna take a knee? Hey, I was like, yes, I will. Even, you know, Ed, Ed, Ed Asner, the wonderful actor, he put out this beautiful tweet um, about taking a knee. He says, I'm taking a knee on Sunday. I might need somebody to help me up, you know? <laughs> we got you. We got you, Ed. I love it. We'll be right there to help we you We got guys. you, Ed, you know? This is America, y'all. This yeah. is weird. We, it's a different... To me, I don't know about y'all, but to me, it's a difference between protest and disrespect. Yes. I just think that there's yes. a difference. And I, I would rather see a protest, a peaceful a protest, peaceful. than in tiki torches yeah. and people yelling at me. You know I would rather else? take that knee. Yeah. That's you know what, what I'm saying. A lot of people also don't know the history that Colin Kaepernick actually originally used to just sit down. Yeah. You know, that he originally used to sit and he found out, he asked somebody, you know, what is the more respectful thing I can do where I'm not disrespecting the flag, but that you understand that I have something I want you to know about to bring awareness. And that's why he chose to take the knee, which he felt was actually more respectful. More respectful, and it would also so give no people's disrespect. attention. Also, my dad said, he said, we know why they're taking a knee. They're saying, hey, we're taking a knee because obviously we're... Uh, Colin said, which obviously was for police brutality mm -hmm. and also for social injustice in general. That's what they're not taking it to say, you know, screw, screw the, the military flag. or yeah. screw America. That's nah. actually not what they're saying. They're just saying we love our country, we wanted to do the right thing. And I love the military. I go and I entertain yes. the troops. I love y'all. We love you. We yeah, get for fighting for our Thank right. you so much. Because we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing right here At all. if it wasn't for the military. Exactly. So I never take that for granted. And I don't think any player. It's taking that for granted, but mm -hmm. I will. You know the, the difference. You know the difference between the the NFL and the NBA. The NBA, they don't care. They <laughs> they got themselves together. So I think these NFL players need to take a cue from the NBA players because, like LeBron put out a, a statement the other day. I was like, oh, yes, yeah. yeah. You, and we want to show it. Put a video to further it. explain. Yeah, exactly. Felt. Let's let's look at it a little bit if we can. We got it. We all know how much sports brings us together, um, how much passion it has, how much we love and care, and you know the friendships and everything that it creates. And for him to try to use this platform to divide us even more, um, it's not something I can stand for, and it's not something I can be quiet about. I love that. Hey. And that's what I mean. Use your voice, do something, say something, have a stamp. There's a lot of platforms out here, and this is why we have our show. We're just trying to use it as a platform. We're not trying to divide our country. Not at We're all. We're trying to no. give you our understanding. Yes. And this, we, we got all different cultures up here. And different okay. opinions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, the other story that dominated headlines over the weekend concerns Kylie Jenner and if she is or <laughs> if she is not pregnant. 
So late Maury. Friday night, TMZ broke the news. <laughs> you are the father. No, that's a little over. <laughs> okay. TMZ broke the news that 20-year-old Kylie is pregnant and expecting a baby girl with boyfriend Travis Scott. Kylie has been very vocal about her desire to have one day a family. However, people reported that according to a family source, her family feels she's very naive and too young to start a family. Back to these sources, I, know, I tell y'all. Who are like, the sources? Like the neighbor, <laughs> the gardener? At this point, Kylie has yet to confirm or deny the pregnancy news. What do y'all think? I, I okay. I, I just don't think it's true. I'm not going to believe it That's just my gut instinct. I'm That's with you, me. but I want to know why. Is it because their special was just this past Sunday? I j maybe, but I, I literally, I don't know why. I had, I, I like, right? people were like, wait, Kylie's pregnant? Like, I, the fact that they didn't say yes or no, I just, I just don't see it. I don't know why. Well, didn't she She's having up, fun. She's living her life. Didn't she put up a video where she was showing her, her stomach recently. That's what I thought, but. Yeah, and it doesn't look like she's pregnant. No, but no. see, that's what. See, there was that... another one, though, too, and she had on a big T-shirt. Her breasts are pregnant, not her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes. I did think, yeah. There definitely looked like there's some milk in there. That was wild. I don't know. I think it's a genius move of Kris Jenner if it was done to kind of get everybody to watch the new see, season, See, I don't think right? it's that either, because I don't even think they need to be that divisive or calculated. They're, they're, People care regardless about them. People are going to find something to talk. What I will say is, I think maybe someone came up with the rumor and they're like, <laughs> enjoy well, having fun talking about that. Her, uh, Caitlyn Jenner <laughs> what has what? weighed in. Oh, oh she did? Yeah. Do tell. She said that she felt that uh, Kylie is too young to have a baby, um, okay. that she's not ready. So she has stated her, okay, but she will be a grandmother, right? Yes. What? Baby. Yes, yes. right? Yeah. She will be a grandmother. Yes. No, yes. I'm not. I'm just helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Yes, Seriously. I believe that she... I, I can't laughing? speak for her. No, Why are you laughing, Lonnie? You look like you got... Some, there's something she, in She will be a grandmother. And I think... Yes. I think... <laughs> Everybody no, that in her voice. Caitlyn does, doesn't want to be a grandmother so soon. That's what I think. Okay, but I will say this. Anybody with me, I don't know about everybody else, but in my family back in the day, if you dared get pregnant, in Asian culture especially, you get pregnant <laughs> Let them know. you are married, my mom would be like, you have the baby. My big tai tao What does it mean? <laughs> what? Yo. What does that mean? We need a bleep it's very tai tao. It's very scary. No, it's very scary. It basically means I would not be sitting here to tell the story. There was two rules in my Asian household. It is number one, take your shoes off before you walk in the house. Yeah. Number two, <laughs> no boyfriend. No boyfriend. No ever. boyfriend. No, and you just, because the biggest shame and fear is that you get pregnant before you are married and then your life is ruined because uh -huh. you can't mm -hmm. go to school, you can't live out your career. So for me, all I could think about was like, dang, she's 20 years old. Like, I had the fear of God put in me to actually, Girl, like, it's 27 true. She don't, she's out here living uh -huh. her life. She has what? almost a billion what? dollar company with her Kylie Lip Kits. Yeah, but still. True. I'm yeah. like, why? That read doesn't mean read ready. what Tracy got to I say. Didn't, I didn't say that she that she's ready. We want to read what Tracy has to say. Tracy has something Tracy very important. Is Tracy Asian? Does she know what I'm talking Tracy about? Tracy Pittman said, <laughs> "I wonder if she's carrying this baby for oh, Kim Lord. and Kanye West." Really? No. Because you know, Kim oh. is over there. Kim has a baby that's from a surrogate. It'll so, be here in January. Uh, what about wait. my baby? That's, I'm having one. That's the ultimate. So that's Plot twist, that's my Joe. Kim Kardashian. That's kind of magical. Yeah. This, you know what? This is the thing. We are never gonna get rid of these Kardashians. I, that I, is the problem. I don't want to. I, don't want to. I like that. No, I do. I'm not having kids. I'm just they gonna, having kids. I'm just gonna oh. sit here and listen to you guys. Well, the next tribe of Kardashians is a beautiful blend going this on. This is and a they make beautiful children. Why do nightmare. we care so much, though? Thank you. And that is Thank why you. they don't care. They're like. If you want to talk about it and discuss it on daytime television and on TMZ, I didn't ask to talk about it. Y'all have no, just wanted to. I, so. <laughs> now, is it ever possible to call off a divorce? Well, it looks like T.I. and Tiny are about to find out. The couple has reportedly decided to call off their divorce because they feel like what they have isn't worth throwing away. The couple has been married That's for seven beautiful. years. But have been on the outs recently. Um, Tiny had filed for divorce after confronting T.I. over cheating out accusations. However, the couple is still living together under one roof, taking care of their children. I think it's great. I call it off. I do too. I just realized I that I left my, my wedding ring off. in the dressing room. Oh. Uh, There's no divorce happening. I just forgot I put lotion on. I just went to look in my room. I was like, wait, it's oh, not there. Like, no worries, people. Now. Okay, I actually think that um, 
if somebody can work it out, you always hope for the best for them. Right. No? Like, if yeah. they can yeah. work it out, well, go for it. Work yeah. it out. Yeah. 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 Things happen, you never know. I, I personally, if I ever decided to get divorced, I, it'd probably be for a really good reason, and therefore I probably would not call it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to each but his maybe own. I think sometimes people go through that legal separation mm. stage, yeah. and maybe in the heat of passion or you know whatever Counseling, anger and heat of anger, they did not go through the legal separation. They just called off the divorce quickly. So now they're actually thinking through it, falling in love again, doing it yeah. for the kids. Oh, I'm you know? so passionate. Uh, I know. Yeah, do it for the kids. No, I know. Never yeah. say do it for the kids, but the reality yeah. is, when you do have kids, you think about it. Yeah. 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 You know we asked folks the reality of it. We asked you guys, under what circumstance would you call off a divorce? And here are some of your answers. What are they? Uh, if the guy won the lottery. <laughs> uh, okay. That is Zanu hits five. Good one. Miss underscore Ad Aladdin says it would first depend on my reason for calling for divorce. Uh, for divorce in the first place, and the circumstance would have to probably be after couples counseling and us yeah. mutually deciding we will be working. We will be willing to work together. It could be. It could be one-sided, where one person wants to work it on, the other yeah. one doesn't. And this person is saying it has to be on both sides. People saying, look, yeah. whatever happened, happened. Let's try to start over. And the both parties have to work really hard to make my, it work. My favorite story that I can personally say I know rather than, you know, reading it, but right. Nini and her husband. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Leaks, you guys. They, I mean, she divorced. She literally, like, they, they were they did it. done. And then she realized what she was missing. The heart grew fonder, and she really got jelly seeing him dating other women. <laughs> so she came running back like, nope, you're mine. Put that on, bloop. <laughs> and now and they're yeah. together and strong. They've been together for some time they now, yeah. huh? Well, you know what? People got realized with T.I. and Tiny. First of all, if you watch their, they're one of the few reality shows I actually like because, you know, it really shows what family is about. Yeah. They're yeah. like the hip hop if I have to say Cosby, the hip hop Cosby yes. family. And I really uh, grown attached to them. I saw them at Hip Hop Squares. Yeah. yeah. And you could tell that they're still chemistry, they're still in love with each other. And you know what? She waited on him when he went to jail. Let me tell you, that's a ride oh, or die. Yeah. You don't let your ride or die go. You know what I think is there? Okay. It's more than just the in love thing with them. I think that there's a real friendship. I was lucky enough to work with our first guest back in the day on Sister Sister. Hey! He played. He played Tia's college boyfriend. 20 years later, he is still killing it on TV. Wow. Currently, he stars as Reggie Vaughn, his cousin's basketball manager on the star's hit, Survivor's Remorse. Please welcome Ronrico Lee. Every time, you look you see, the same. every time she sees me, I saw you a couple years ago at Essence. I know. That's the first thing you said to me. I, you and, you, and you don't either. Well, thank you. Well, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay, so T and I want to do a sister sister reboot. Okay. okay. So I'm so excited, you guys. Yeah. Almost there. So if if we make this happen, are you on board? Are you see, are you really asking me this question right yes. now? Yes. Of course I'm on board. Yes. I'm, you are on okay. TV, you gotta stick with that. Oh, yes, yes, I'm, I'm yes. Sti it's stuck. Okay, so uh, where do you think your character Tyreek would be now? Where would hmm. Tyreek be right now? Yeah. Being uh, that he was a security guard when they went to college <laughs> yes. at, uh, at, at University of Michigan, I think he's parlayed that into like a, a full on firm. He's doing oh, nice. body ground that. work. He's got people all over the place. He's doing big things, Tyreek. I, yeah, I, right. I heard nice. that. I heard that. Now, one of your first films was Glory with Denzel Washington when you were 11 <laughs> years old. Yeah. 11. 11. What do you remember about working with him? Uh, now, mind you, I was 11 years old. I really, only person I really knew from that movie was Matthew Broderick, primarily because of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. But, um, but what I remember is the, the scene that everybody remembers when he was when he was well, whooped for, um, yeah. for trying to go and get the shoes. I was actually out there when they filmed it, and I remember being a little kid going, he should really win something for this. <laughs> I 
I, I didn't know what, you know, I didn't know if it was an Oscar or what, but yeah. it turns out he won the Oscar. Yeah, yeah, he, did. Did. yeah he won wow. the Oscar for it. But I was right there watching that, right there watching. It was amazing. Wow. wow. Now, today, you are rocking it on Star Survivor's Remorse. You yeah. Gotta love that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And interestingly is that LeBron James is the exec producer. Uh -huh. So were you a fan of his before this show? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, uh, LeBron was probably one of the first high school kids to have his games nationally televised on ESPN. And so oh, right. I remember one of the first games he had, I remember going home early and watching it and going, who is this kid playing at St. Vincent St. Mary? Uh, and it was amazing. So to think now what, I don't know, however many years later that he's technically my boss. Yeah. Uh, it's wow. amazing. When, I first, when I first met him, I was just kind of, I was really blown away. But he was very cool, very humble. Mm -hmm. And he actually called me over and said, come on, let's get in this, this group picture. I was like, me? He said, yeah, come on. Aww. And so I went over and took the picture with him. It was great. You had Isaiah Washington. And yeah. You have Romeo Miller on the show. Yeah. Who would be like your, your like dream guest star? A dream guest star on Survivor's Remorse, Dave Chappelle. Oh, oh yeah. Dave Chappelle. I think to see Dave Chappelle and Tashina Arnold and oh the rest gosh. of the cast go, it, just hilarious. Dave Chappelle. You put Dave Chappelle and Tashina Arnold in the same Magic. room. That's it's like magic. hilarious. Gold just right let the there. cameras roll. Yep. Now, your name, Ron Rico Lee, is very, very unique. It is. What's the story behind it? Uh, I wish it was like a more elaborate story. Really, my mother saw an uh, advertisement, when she was praying with me, she saw an advertisement uh, for uh, Ron Rico Rum. It was a Bacardi nice. Still is. <laughs> A Bacardi rum. Nice. Don't laugh. Okay. I wish I had a more like you know elaborate story, but I don't. And uh, she just wanted to flip the spelling. So instead of R, uh, it's instead of R E A R I C O, it's okay. R E A C O, which yeah. really kind of screwed me up as a kid because I was everything <laughs> from Ron Rayco to Ron. Oh, I was Ron Rayco, Ron Rieko. Do people just call you Ron? I grew up as Rico, so most people that know me, they call me Rico. Okay. But as I got into business, Ron is, you know, quick. But I, I answered either one. Yeah, but today you're Rico Suave. <laughs> Never I'm glad my mom didn't uh, drink Hennessy when I was. I, <laughs> you would be Hennessy. Oh, Hennessy love. <laughs> oh, that works. Well, well, Cardi B's sister is Hennessy. Wow. wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Learn something new every day. Yes. Every, every day. Since you were named after a popular rum, we thought it would be fun to play a little game with you. Yes. You know, we like drinking games. So we're going to ask personal <laughs> questions that uh, you may Ooh. want to answer. <laughs> um, you yeah. may want to, you know. Uh, be honest. Uh, it's like questions. Yeah, yeah. write about it in your diary. And if you choose not to answer, you have to take a drink, OK? <gasps> so this, this is like what we setup. call Brian just... Rico's yeah. Rum Ooh. Diary. It's, it's like a good. setup. Come on, let's Yo, do it. Yo, this is right, live right, television. Let's this go. Let's this go. is real Here's rum. Thumbs. Yes, it's real rum, you guys. What <laughs> is your worst habit? Tell uh, us or drink. My worst. You know what? Honestly, anybody that knows me, I'm addicted to Welch's fruit snacks. <laughs> what? <laughs> And I know it doesn't seem like a really, but uh, you have no clue the, the depths that I'll go to to get Welch's no. fruit. You like snacks. strawberry? What I like kind? the strawberry. I like the tangy fruit. I like the <laughs> island fruit. I like, the I like them all. I even, know, I, I even know gas stations. I have a home in Atlanta. We have a home in Atlanta. I know oh gas Lord. stations that sell very specific ones. <laughs> Grittier. Come on, that's not this that's easy. Okay. How about this? Ask How about this? Fill in the blank. Uh, when nobody is watching, I like to. Oh. Come on. Oh. 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 Is it? Is oh. that it? It's real. It's real. We it's told real. you it was real, dude. That is no <laughs> water. Okay. I thought that was a trick. That is real. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now okay. you go think about Ooh. your answers. Yes. All right. Get a good now, one, you guys. Here's the next one. Kay. Which <laughs> one of the ladies of the real would you have dated when you were younger and single? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got I, I got it. What? <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're gonna be drunk after this. I think so. You have to give us some answers. All right, all right, come on. Okay. okay. This is an easy one. Okay. I'm gonna be nice. All right. What would you be <laughs> if you weren't an actor? Uh, if I wasn't an actor, oh, that is an easy one. I yeah. would be. I want to be a detective. I'm very nosy. 
Oh, I love I all. Like that. I am, and I'm being honest. I just really would love to be able to go someplace and get in people's business, and people oh have to God. tell me exactly what I asked for. I have to arrest them. I think you could just okay. be a talk show host. That's, that's, that's what you can do. Like us. Yeah. You know? Okay, wait. This is two goody gumdrops. I want to go deeper. Let's get some shady. How about, all right. How about, how about, all how right. about this? Go deep and get how about this? What is an actor that you hope to never work with Ooh. again? Yeah. That's good, right? That's good. You're welcome. Come on, this here. No! Your worst job. Your worst uh, job. <laughs> woo, man, this was a setup. Let me just say, uh, my worst job in high school. I was where is this? Uh, it's a park in. Uh, Look at me slurring. I worked at a chicken restaurant. Okay. I was at a chicken restaurant, and I was in the like the lowest on the totem pole. I was I would pack chicken. So if you came in and you said, "Look, let me get you know a four piece, yeah, all white meat," I was a dude that had to go and get the four piece, put it and in the pack bag. the chicken. But pack look at you now, job. you on TV. That yes. lets you know where you can go. You're right. You're right. Now that From works. packing chicken to sitting on the reel, hey. getting drunk, <laughs> and, uh, and the wee hours of the morning.